Okay, so questions 95 to 99. Um, this includes Gringard reagents. Um, and of course, uh, hopefully, as soon as you hear Gringard reagents, it gives you this, this feeling of uh, MGBR um, and the fact that Gringard reagents and also alkyl lithiums like this, they do the same thing. They generate delta negative carbons. It's very. It's not something you need to memorize, or perhaps you, you might want to. But it's um, if lithium's in the first group in the periodic table. It's more to the left in the periodic table than carbon. So that means it's more electropositive than carbon, and that means it makes carbon to be electronegative. Magnesium bromine. It does the same thing that lithium does. Mag Lithium has an oxidation number of plus one. Magnesium has an oxidation number of plus two, bromide minus one. It acts like a plus one, just like lithium. So this ends up uh, being our delta positive, and this ends up being delta negative. The magic of Gringard reagents and alkyl lithiums is because they generate delta negative carbons, and because we usually see carbon being, being delta positive, uh, usually carbon is attached to something more electronegative, what the magic of this is that it can make carbon carbon bonds because opposites attract and carbon's usually delta positive. Um, that's uh, what we're expecting. We're expecting the creation of carbon carbon bonds. So uh, they show figure one and, um, and they show you the, uh, their alcohol, which is at the end of figure one, and it looks something like this. Okay, and so they have R prime, R and R double prime, and these are just labels, just like green, red, and blue, or any kind of label, just to be able to follow things during the reaction to know what ends up where. And so um, the question is, a secondary alcohol is produced by reacting a Gringard reagent. Well, if this was a secondary alcohol, then uh, one of these things has to be hydrogen, because um, a primary alcohol is when you have one carbon attached to the alcohol group. A secondary alcohol is when you have two. And a tertiary alcohol is when you have three. So um, this is a secondary alcohol if one of these is hydrogen. Now, which one could be hydrogen? I know that R cannot be hydrogen. R has to be a alkyl group because we, we start the reaction, step one is with Rx, and that's step one. Now, if R was hydrogen, this would not be a Gringard reagent, this would be an acid, and the acid would dissociate, and we would not get magnesium adding and, and, uh, and attacks and so on. So uh, R has to be an alkyl group because this is a Gringard reagent uh, that is being created and uh, and reacted so I know that R is going to be carbon so it's going to be R prime or R double prime which is going to be uh, hydrogen so what is R prime and R double prime we look at the molecule that has R prime and R double prime which is this and so if R and R were carbons then this would be a ketone but now I, I can assert that one of these is definitely a hydrogen. So I'm randomly saying this is hydrogen. So this is now called an aldehyde because this is a uh, group. So I know I'm looking for an aldehyde. Formaldehyde, let's take a look at formaldehyde, what that looks like. So formaldehyde uh, looks like this. It's also called methanal, but um, you should be able to know both names. Uh, but formaldehyde, uh, is just, it's meth and al. Meth means only one carbon. Al means it's an aldehyde. So one carbon aldehyde, that's methanol. Well, it has two hydrogens, so it's definitely the wrong answer because we know that there has to be a carbon on one side. Next is acetaldehyde, and that has two carbons. It's also called ethanol. And uh, so this is the aldehyde group here. And this fits perfectly with what we said. So that's the correct answer. The last one was acetone, which is one, two, three. Uh, it's, an, it's a ketone. It would have meant both our groups are carbons, and that is not what we have. So uh, this is the wrong answer also. So uh, 95, the answer is B. 96. The reaction of 3-chlorohexane, so 3-chlorohexane, so 1, 2, 
three, four, five, six, and three chloro. Three chlorohexane with propionaldehyde, which is propanal. So prop means three carbons. One, two, three, prop. And al means it's an aldehyde. Okay, so uh, under the condition shown, produces what alcohol? Okay, so the important thing for you to notice is that when you look at step one, R is going to end up attacking the carbon because of the delta negative, delta positive thing, attacking the central carbon of the carbonyl group. So R adds at the carbonyl group. That's the essential thing that happens in this whole reaction. So um, now, what is going to be turning charges. Right now this is a delta positive carbon, delta negative, but when magnesium inserts itself here according to step one, this carbon will be delta negative and will attack this central carbon. So it's this carbon that attacks. You can't just pull this chain over like this and put it there. And so, and in the exam, you don't want to waste time rewriting and rewriting. So you know that this oxygen is going to turn into an alcohol. So you just go like that. You put the HOH there because that's the final alcohol. And you take this molecule and you plug it in right there, right there, like that. And then you put the carbons on that side. There's two carbons on this side and there's three on this one. One, two, three, and that's the reaction. So the problem is over. You just need to name what you're looking at. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven carbons in the longest chain. That's the longest one. This one's shorter, six. So we have seven in the longest chain. That's how you name it. And we're going to, it's going to be heptanol, and it's three heptanol. In fact, the proper way to name it is heptriol, but it's okay. Three heptanol. And then it's one, two, three, four. There's an ethyl group. So it's four ethyl, three heptanol. And that's answer choice A for 96. And then you move on to question 97. So 97 talks about a Grignard reagent is prepared from each of the first named compounds in the following reaction. Organic molecules react with the second named compounds in the pair. The compound 5, bromyl 2 pentanol. Okay, so pentanol 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, that's going to be pentanol and it's 2-pentanol, so the OH group is here, and it's 5-bromo, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5-bromo, 2-pentanol um, is best prepared, ooh boy, 8, okay, so they said uh, two special words there, best prepared and in its most pure state. That is uh, a sign <laughs> that there's probably uh, more than one correct answer in terms of ways to prepare it, but one is the best. And so, because um, they use two words to emphasize that. Okay, so they have uh, methyl brom. Well, you know, you can tell there's uh, two answers that are going to be a little bit suspicious, okay? And, um, and that's because uh, answers uh, B and D have only one bromine, and that one bromine is um, in the original reacting uh, compound. But if you look at Rx in the reaction, that um, doesn't end up uh, with the bromine. So, because that bromine is going to be lost, that uh, halide. But it's okay. We're going to look at the reactions anyway. So, um, so A has methyl bromide. So we have meth methyl bromide here and uh, four bromobutanol. So butanol is one, two, three, four, is butanol. And we have four bromo. Okay, so um, this is gonna end up, after being coming a Grignard reagent, this will end up being delta negative. Then it will hit this carbon, knock up the electrons. This would be OH over here. This would have the carbon uh, bonded in here. And uh, this would be our compound and one, two, three, four, five. This matches this exactly. One on the second hydroxy, second hydroxy, and then bromine way at the end. Okay, so that matches it. Uh, A is looking uh, pretty good so far. The next one is two bromopropane. So one, two, three, two bromopropane, and it's adding to ethanol. One, two, uh, there's ethanol. So. 
Um, this is going to end up being delta negative at a point, hit this carbon, knock these electrons up, that will be the OH group, one, two, three, and it adds in like this, no bromine. That's what I was trying to explain before. So this is not matching what our, our compound is. Uh, looking at C, uh, we'll end up with the same problem. One, two, three, four, and um, one bromo uh, butane. So the bromine is over here. We have formaldehyde, which is methanol, um, which is uh, just this. And so this is going to end up being delta negative. Hit this, going to be carbon here, carbon carbon, carbon, and then this is going to be an OH. So um, again, there's no bromine here, doesn't match our compound. Then we try the last one, which is one, two, three, one, three dibromopropane. So one and at three position dibromopropane and uh, acetaldehyde ethanol, which is um, uh, like this. F ethanol, and so I know that uh, one of these will be uh, become delta negative, da 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 da, and um, have a nucleophilic attack here, and this will be OH, and then we'll end up with a carbon here, and I'm just going to flip it on over to the other side, carbon, carbon, and uh, bromine. Now I check with the original compound, one two, one two hydroxy and then bromide right here at the end, one, two, three, four, five carbons. So it's exactly the same. So we have two answers, A and D, that make the final compound. And now we have to just take a little closer look at what's going on. So um, that came in here very nicely, no problem. It wouldn't matter if it was the other carbon uh, that uh, became delta negative and came in and reacted, no problem. So now let's look at A a little closer. CH3Br. And this is going to end up being a delta negative uh, carbon. And it came in here and attacked the central carbon, knocked up the electrons. Great. But wait. Over here, there's a, there's a carbon which is also delta positive because of the delta negative electronegative bromine pulling electrons to itself. It means that when this becomes a Grignard reagent with the magnesium in there, and when this becomes delta negative as a result of that, it has a choice to attack uh, this carbon or to attack this carbon. And then it would be a completely different product if it attacks this carbon. You wouldn't get the alcohol at all. Hmm. That wasn't easy to say. But anyway, so uh, the point is, is that here you're going to have side products, but uh, with answer choice D, you get the pure uh, and the best answer. Okay, so continuing with question number uh, 98, the alcohol shown below is produced uh, by a, a Grignard uh, reagent reaction. If the reagent is prepared from the first name compound that is reacted with the second name compound, this alcohol could be produced from each of the following uh, pairs of compounds except, so we try uh, chloroethane, <clears throat> uh, there's chloroethane, and three uh, pentanone, so one, two, three, four, five, um, three pentanone. And so, as I said before, this delta negative is going to end up hitting this right here. So we're going to have two carbons there. The electrons go up, eventually become an alcohol, and this is, uh, this is what you get. And that is not the starting compound. <laughs> so this answer choice A would, would be um, incorrect. But just looking at the other ones, bromoethane. Okay, so we have bromoethane and uh, two pentanone. So we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, uh, two pentanone. This comes in, bang, right there, two carbons. The electrons go up and... Uh, Hey, that looks uh, like what we have. And then the other one is um, bromomethane. Okay, so just uh, bromomethane uh, with three hexanone. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, and uh, three hexanone. And so this comes in and we get our carbon here. This 
this OH goes up and again that looks exactly like a starting compound and then we have one chloro uh, propane and two butanone one two three four two uh, butanone so we have this come in hit this knock that up for the electrons then we have one two three carbons over here and again, that looks like the starting compound. So indeed, 98, uh, the correct answer is A. So for question 99, a fourth step is added, as if we haven't been doing enough work already. A fourth step is added, uh, reacting the alcohol with excess uh, acid and generating a new alkyl halide. Okay, so uh, methyl bromide is going to be used. So we're going to be using methyl bromide. Um, initial react in three cycles with a four-step reaction shown. In each cycle, acetaldehyde is used. Okay, so acetaldehyde is used in each cycle. And the uh, carbonyl compound introduced in step two. Which of the following shows the structure of the final organic compound produced after three cycles? So just to summarize, you already had three steps to do. They've added a fourth step, and then they said, do all four steps three times. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's get started. Um, so the bottom line is now we know that this will, once it becomes a Gringer, this becomes delta negative. It comes in here, it hits this, adds there, adds the electrons up like that. Okay, so this is our alcohol, and the new step is that they give an acid. The acid is going to make water with this, H plus plus OH, that makes water, replaces this with a halide, then this becomes uh, the Grignard. So all I have to do is write over the acetaldehyde, which is going to be used again. I know this is the Grignard, so this is going to end up attacking this right here bringing those electrons up, and I'm just going to transpose this over here. So I have C, C, and C. Okay, now, then the fourth step, again, was to add the acid. The acid makes this turns to water, makes this into a halide, an X group, and then we start the normal steps. So then this becomes the Grignard, and we go on. So um, all I'm going to have to do is rewrite my acetaldehyde. Take all of this, becomes the Grignard, just plug it in here, make those electrons go up again, and this comes down, and I just transpose this underneath here. I have C, C, and then I have, uh, it's one, two, three, so one, two, three, and another carbon on the side. So I just make sure that I do that correct, and uh, that's what I end up with, and of course, um, when you complete the cycle, add your acid, uh, that turns to water, and then the halide comes in, and then you see the answer choice is C. So if you had any uh, difficulties uh, with, um, with uh, some of the ground rules for uh, organic uh, uh, reactions, uh, you should you know, go to Org 1.6. And then, um, you know, to look at uh, some Gringards or some other types of uh, reactions uh, that, are, that are common, uh, here are some um, good places to look. And don't forget, I put a free online uh, organic chemistry uh, reaction list. Um, you can just um, Google uh, uh, Gold Standard Gamset uh, um, organic chemistry mechanisms and you'll find it. And, uh, and so you should go over those mechanism lists to make sure that you're, you're comfortable uh, doing uh, different types of organic chemistry uh, uh, mechanisms.